Hey guys, we're back again with the pocket chip and we're going to flash, or we're going to show you how to flash the device. I've already flashed mine, so you take everything that you've got plugged in out of your pocket chip and with a little bit of force, you can wiggle that chip out of pocket chip like so. Now there is a software mode in which you can reflash pocket chip, but that sadly didn't work for me, so we're just going to show you the standard way of flashing chip. Now on here, there are two um, two labelled ports. One of them is FEL and one of them is ground. And what you want to do is you want to stick a pin in here to um, bridge those two ports and then plug it into your laptop, obviously, once you've bridged those two ports. There will be a link down in the description below uh, of a website in which you can go to that will install an add-on for your browser and then you can flash chip through your browser. It's a very simple and easy process as long as you bridge the two correct ports. I will also link a video down below where the next thing uh, NTC they get into they got a video themselves showing you how to flash chip. It's fairly easy to do just got to bridge two ports then plug her in flash the chip and she'll be up and running again. It's It's very very easy to use and very easy to do. But once you t try and put chip back in, you must make sure that all these are lined up correctly because if not, you can get some funny business going going on with chip. Uh, if you don't align them correctly, chip will inevitably perish. Anyway guys, that is roughly how you uh, flash pocket chip. If you want to know exactly how to flash pocket chip, I can do a video of that for you. But, at the moment, I'm not planning on doing a video like that. If you want me to do a video like that, let me know in the comment section below. And, uh, whilst we're on this part of the video, I may as well show you some of the browser stuff, because someone has been asking about that. So as you can see, pocket chip's back in there, it's loaded up nicely, no problems at all really. It takes a few minutes to load up, and then once we've loaded up, we'll get into getting that browser. Now obviously I've reflashed chip and I haven't installed a browser since reflashing chip, I don't think, so I'll show you the step by step on how to get the browser functioning. So I haven't turned off this tutorial again. Basically, we enter the terminal. Again, you want to sudo apt get update first if you haven't already done so, and then you can press sudo apt dash get space install with two L's, then space. And then you want to put your browser in. So for me, it would be Ice Weasel. I believe that I installed last time. Then we press Enter. Now sometimes it may say cannot find the correct thing, in which case we'll just do another update. Sometimes it should. Yeah, unable to locate package. So if we go sudo apt get update. And then we press enter. And we should get a nice little update coming on here. Doesn't take too long to load through. So again, if you guys want to see something in particular, let me know in the comment section below. I'm trying to do my best to get stuff out and videos done on this uh, little device because it's a nifty little thing and I haven't yet done my written review on purpose because I'm hoping to use this device a little bit more and get used to how it works before I put out my review but so far everything's going swell the issues I've had have, have been pretty much instantly fixed by ways of asking the community and they've helped out a hell of a lot with stuff and to be honest I'm very impressed with the community I think they're doing a great job in what they're doing 
and they do help you guys out for you people that are not really sort of experts on this stuff or you're not really sure on how to use a terminal or a commands etc the community do help you out a hell of a lot so taking a little bit of time but it always does Uh, just another thing to point out as well, the Wi-Fi range on this is quite good. My router is upstairs, you know, I've got one downstairs, one upstairs. The one this is connected to is upstairs, and I pretty much get signal all the way through the house. No matter which room I'm in, whether I'm upstairs or downstairs, I get signal, so it's great. So if we now go to sudo, and then we press apt, get install, and then we go to Ice Weasel. Pretty sure this should work. Don't quote me on this. It won't work if I put the command prompt wrong. No. <clears throat> right. Install. And then Ice Weasel. Like so. And then it'll say, do you want to continue? You press yes or no. So we press Y for yes. We enter. It'll install. So again, it takes a little bit of time to install everything. But it depends on how big the file is, as usual, you know, if the file is pretty big, my internet's only standard broadband, so it'll take a little bit of time to install. If you have fiber, the speed probably be quicker if you have a dual band fiber connection. And then once this is installed, you can just boot it up, and I'll show you that as well.